Hey everybody, it's Kay with the cash. I'm coming to you guys to show you guys um, what to do with wallet unstuffing. Um, and actually go through my wallet to show you guys what I have left over from Thanksgiving, a little Black Friday shopping, and my last cash stuffing from, I believe it was the first paycheck of November that I did. Um, I don't, I won't even get into trying to figure out what day that was but granted it's payday time again um well this week is payday and so of course i'll be stuffing my wallet so i'll just go through here show you um what i have left in my wallet um i think i will be switching it up a little bit as well today with my starbucks envelope because i ended up getting a another gift card however it wasn't like anything that i had to purchase which is good so i have some extra money on my starbucks uh account so more than likely i'll probably be taking this out of here and allotting it to my challenges and then kind of just starting over since i already got another gift card on file so starting with starbucks there is 20 40 60 65 70 75 dollars in starbucks left over Patrol, I will say I didn't even touch this envelope. I ended up getting gas the other day and I put it on my card and it was like $34. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like gas is really going down. Like I wasn't tripping, but yeah, I didn't touch my cash. I ended up using my card, but $60 left over in Patrol. Um, Self-care is gone. Retail therapy is gone. Had a little fun with that entertainment i did not touch this envelope at all there is still fifty dollars in there uh dining out let's see a couple of ones in here we got 20 21 22 23 and 24 you know what, I probably should have put this further back since I don't have that many bills. Or that many dominations, rather. Yeah. Okay. And then miscellaneous, I just have $5 left in there. I used $5. I'm going to keep this in here, roll that over, and then just add another five to it, which I'll probably go ahead and do now. Just take it out of this remaining, since I typically always keep um, $10 in there anyway. So I'll just go like that. I hate when I don't fold my bills the same way. Don't y'all hate that? So I hope everybody's holiday was great. Um, I actually had bronchitis, y'all. I got diagnosed with it last, last Tuesday and ended up having to get a bunch of meds and stuff so that kind of sucked but i will say that i am getting better okay so that's everything out of my wallet let's go ahead and count this and see what we're left over with so we have 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 80 85 90 95 2 204 all right, $204. That's not bad. That's really not even bad. I can't even trip, y'all. Honestly, I found myself trying to um, just be a little bit more cognizant of my spending purchases. Like, even though I'm already allotting the money to my wallet to spend, I've been trying to um, just be mindful and not get too carried away. Um, so what we're going to do, you know, typically when I pull from my wallet, we go ahead and we stuff our challenges. So I think, let's see how we want to do this. Um, let's see. I don't know. Maybe we can do 120 and knock out 56 and 57. So basically doing $60 each. So let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. Yeah, I think we'll do that. You know what? And actually there's 20 
and we'll swap it out like that because then we can put those in the other challenges um i don't know y'all how should we break this up or what we can do is we can do 61 i'm trying to get rid of these ones don't y'all hate that okay um so we could probably do 61 and then 63 <laughs> i guess we could do 61 and 63 y'all what y'all think because then that will yeah we'll get rid of these ones so that's what we'll do yeah we'll go ahead and do 61 and 63 today I hate like hopping over numbers, but it is what it is. So we'll do 61 and 63. Oops. And so just to verify, there's 61. And then we have 20, 40, 50, 60, and three. Yeah, my goal was to try to finish this challenge by this year, but I was like, I won't be too hard on myself considering like I started it kind of late in the game, so. We won't even do that to ourselves, you know? Every little bit counts, right? Okay, so now we have um, Keisha's $1,000 rainy day fund savings. We are gonna be putting $80 in there, y'all. Like, this is gonna fill up quick. I feel like it is, which is like so dope. Oops, looks like I got the wrong pink. Okay, 20, 40, 60, 80. Yeah. I don't know. Is it me or do y'all get excited like when y'all finish challenges and stuff? Like I get all extra giddy. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60. So now we are at 260 in the rainy day fund envelope, y'all. We are getting there. But we're just going to keep adding on to it. Just keep going. Every little bit helps. Um... Yeah, so aside from my stuff in today, um, I did post about the Easy Cash budget extended planners that I have. Um, and I actually bought these um, for gifts. And the people I got them for ended up using like other budget planners and stuff of that nature. But um, I did post these. I'm reselling these. Um, the total is going to be $16 to include shipping. I love the binder. I have no issues with them. Um, they're brand new, have not been used. Um, they don't have any year date stamps. They just have the month. So you can really start and stop at any given time that you would like. Um, it allows you to do your income, your bills, do your cash envelope, um, your cash envelopes, the amount, sinking fund challenges, track your debt. It also allows, um, it has the expense tracker and it also allows you to do the denominations when you break down your um, different envelopes. So it, it's really efficient. Um, it also has, I think, about three weeks of budgeting in each month. Therefore, in case we have like a um, special month where you have like three pay periods, you can budget for that. But yeah, this is a very, very cool planner. I love it. Um, the designer of the budget is Salisa from Beautifully Me and You. I love her. She's so awesome. She did an amazing job with these planners. Um, I just don't have a need for three extra planners. So 
If you guys are interested, please let me know. I will be more than happy to send it to you. Like I said, $16 um, to include shipping. I'll also be including some freebies um, in there. I, some of the freebies will be some of these. Um, I have some $1,000 placeholders. I have quite a bit of them, so I'll probably go ahead and start giving some of those away. Um, here's a few more. This one is just stickers on it, and I haven't laminated these or done anything uh, to those just yet. But I have a couple of uh, goodies that I'm trying to get rid of. I went through my little cash stuffing um, box, and I have all type of stuff that I haven't used. Binders, cash envelopes. Oh, my goodness. Like, it's the stuff I have is just endless. But I definitely want to start with these because, like I said, I have no use for them. Um, I'm still you know, in the process of using my book like this. And yeah, guys, I just, I just don't have a um, use for three extra planners. So like I said, if you're interested, please, please, please let me know and I will get it out to you. Um, but that is all I have. Um, again, I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. I'm going to continue trying to get better from that little bronchitis situation I was dealing with. Um, and yeah, I'll be back to stuff my wallet later on this week. Y'all have a good day.